killer. fucking headache it really really hurts so I'm gonna go ahead and fucking get into the review already today we're going to be talking about forward to episode 35 uh, I might be uploading this Thursday but I'm recording on Wednesday so you'll be seeing this tomorrow by the time you're watching this which will be Thursday <laughs> so yeah episode 35 not as bad as I was anticipating considering the episode is uh, it was is literally called like parent the parent teacher conference or whatever the fuck it was called but it's not really about like boruto or any of the other students being in a parent teacher conference like yeah like they're in a conference with you know someone like shino but we don't really see like any of the characters talking to someone a teacher like shino besides the very beginning of the episode other than that, it's basically... The episode kind of revolves around a, the plot of what Boruto wants to do in the future. Because in the beginning of the, of the episode, it's established that Boruto doesn't really know what he wants to do. He doesn't exactly know if he wants to become a shinobi or not. And the whole episode is basically him interacting with another, uh, another person... And you'll know who it is if you are the type of person that is super diehard and will actually watch some some of the episodes of Filler and Naruto Shippuden, of course. Um, and that, uh, I don't know what his name is. I don't remember what his name is, but I'm basically just going to call him Kakashi because that's literally him in disguise. And some of you who didn't watch Shippuden or didn't watch some of the Filler episodes... Uh, besides, well, some of you probably seen this episode because this is the because that was the episode uh, that he appeared in. Uh, there's a filler episode in Naruto, Naruto Shippuden where Kakashi is in disguise the whole time, and we finally get to see his face for the first time. And that was the whole episode. It was him in disguise, uh, and the whole like gang and Naruto uh, part one because this is like a flashback kind of moment. They're trying to, like, take off his fucking mask and, you know, reveal his face, but that's besides the point. So, basically, Kakashi is in disguise in this episode, active, uh, blah, 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 uh, acting as a reporter, uh, interviewing some of the students, mainly Boruto, uh, because reasons, right? Uh, but he's interviewing all of the students in the academy, uh, asking what they're going to be doing in the near future. Uh, he asked Boruto if he can interview him or not. Boruto is like, yeah, I have other friends who who, who you can report on or ask questions to. And he's just like, oh, okay. Uh, yeah, I wasn't really planning on that, but sure. So uh, his, his whole importance to the episode makes sense at the end when you do get to it when you do get to it in the episode and i'll actually go ahead and talk about it now because the importance of him in disguise for this episode is basically to is basically to kind of get a gauge of what the students want to do and he's basically going to be a proctor one of the proctors for the final graduation exams that are actually going to happen in the next episode so kakashi is coming back in the next episode as a proctor for the academy students for their exam so the whole entire time in the episode um boruto and kakashi in disguise are talking to the students and the students are talking about what they're gonna do some of them are planning to become shinobi uh one kid just flat out says that he doesn't plan on becoming a ninja and one of, the, one of the students actually says that she's going to take, like, extracurricular classes. Which, I guess, means that they're not going to be a ninja, but whatever. Because that character probably doesn't have importance anyways. And then we actually get a get a scene where Boruto is back home. Uh, Hinata and Himawari are cleaning dishes, and Boruto straight up asks his mom, Hinata... Uh, what made you want to become a shinobi? What made you want to become a ninja? And Hinata flat out says that, well, when me and your late uncle Neji uh, were born into the clan of the Hyuga, 
you know, it was pretty much inevitable that we were going to end up becoming Shinobi. And that Boruto's grandfather, um, Hiyashi, was actually, uh, he was, like, very strict back in the day when Hinata was, you know, a young child. And Boruto's like, what? No, I can't see him acting like that. If you saw the episode, you kind of know that Hiyashi is, you know, after he became a granddad, he just kind of, like, he's kind of really lighthearted and it's funny. But at the same time, when you watch part one and stuff like that and see his character, you, you, you're you kind of surprised as well to see him, his, his development as a character. So, yeah, Hinata basically explains that when you're born into the Hyuga, like, uh, like how she was, it was pretty much inevitable that, you're go that you were going to become a shinobi, a ninja. So, yeah. Uh, confirm uh, confirmation of who the fuck is <laughs> is Mitsuki's parent, right? Because no one knows besides like you know a hiery like ninja like the Hokage and his assistant and stuff like that. So basically, Shikamaru, Naruto, uh, definitely definitely Kakashi, just anybody who who is revolved around kind of like the government, I guess you can say. Uh, you know the hierarchy of uh, of people who are surrounded by the Hokage. There's a fucking fly in my room. I, ju I just fucking saw it. So Mitsuki is on his way to. Yeah, there's a fucking fly piece of shit. <laughs> so Mitsuki is actually on his way to the conference, and then we get a scene where Orochimaru is there and he's talking to Naruto and. He's 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 talking about like ah oh, I find it kind of surprising that of all places that I would be here. Wow, Naruto, you're very trusting. And I'm like, yeah, that is kind of ironic, isn't it? Considering that he he killed the third Okage, and was basically renowned as a criminal and still is renowned as a criminal, regardless of the fact that he kind of helped out in the, in the in the fourth grade ninja war kind of ironic Yamato's there too but he's just like chilling in the back so it's kind of hilarious so yeah Orochimaru is there he's there for the conference right and it's funny because you know he can't go walking around like how he is because people will recognize him but I'm like why would people recognize him I'm pretty sure no one like really knows who the fuck he is and what he's done or I say that because, you know, there's no information on the stuff that happened with Sasuke and what he's done in the past, right? Like how he was renowned as as uh, as a criminal back when he was younger, right? So if that information's gone, why would they keep around information about Orochimaru and what he did just for the sake of letting people know or something I don't know that doesn't really make any sense so uh, Orochimaru leaves to the conference and they actually talk a little bit about how Orochimaru has actually helped out uh, Naruto and the Leaf Village a lot more by explaining that Donzo had way more data that they had that they didn't know that's obviously important to the story and Orochimaru kind of you know uh, decoded it I guess the word I can use like right in this situation and they kind of helped out in you know Sasuke's uh, investigation with Kaguya and stuff like that or Momoshiki to be more specific but you know whatever so Orochimaru leaves he goes to the conference right he's just he's just chilling in the fucking leaf village uh then there's like this scene where Sarada is like outside of a classroom and there are these two students who one of them is not wanting to become a shinobi and the other wants them to become a ninja right so Sarada's out outside of the classroom she's wanting to help but she thinks that she should stay out of it because it's respectable to the person who doesn't want to become a ninja because they're going through family problems so she's just trying to be respectful and then Naruto is like well if you want to be a Hokage what kind of a Hokage would you be if you didn't help these these people out and so Sarada is like yeah you're right I need to help them out and then I'm just like oh well that was pretty convincing I guess 
Just say, do you want to be Hokage? And then, yeah, she'll she'll do whatever the fuck you tell her. So, anyways, uh, Kakashi in disguise is speaking to Boruto. Uh, Boruto's like, yeah, I'm gonna graduate and stuff. And then Kakashi's like, yeah, you you do that. Walk. He says a quote. I'm not gonna say what it is. I'm just gonna say that he he said a quote and he kind of gave off a hint that it's a Boruto saying that he was. You know, Kakashi in disguise by, you know, kind of covering his mouth with his scarf. Boruto being the fucking idiot that he is, he doesn't, you know, get it. He doesn't get the hint. So it's kind of like, whatever. Then we get a scene of Iruka and Kakashi talking to each other. Saying some stuff, whatever, just stuff that has to do with Kakashi and his reasonings for talking to the students for the time that he did. Uh... And then, yeah, the episode kind of just ends. Uh, previews show that, yes, the the cast is going to be taking the graduation exams. They're kind of freaking out a little bit. Uh, I see Shino. That was... I, I, see, I saw Shino in the previews. Anko's there, so that kind of fucking kills it, right? Uh, Kakashi's obviously obviously there because I explained earlier in the video. And, for, and it looks like Konohamaru is also going to be there, which kind of confuses me because this is supposed to be like the graduation exams right and in my head i'm like oh they're gonna like do like a clone jutsu or a transformation jutsu right they actually do talk about that they talk about how uh before in the past you would have to do the transformation or the clone jutsu and then you can graduate right uh and then they show obviously a couple of characters doing the transformation jutsu correctly uh, someone doesn't do it, and then someone actually turns into Shino, but like, like fat. So I, 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 I guess it was funny. I guess it was kind of funny, but I still see the fly in my room. Fuck off. <laughs> so, yeah, that's kind of it. It wasn't the episode wasn't gonna be as uh, blah, blah, blah. the episode wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. I honestly thought it was just gonna be like straight filler. We're gonna have interactions of. Like characters who explain what they're gonna do, 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 do right? But that that happened, but not in the way that I thought it was going to. It was okay. It wasn't like I said. It wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. But regardless, you know, it's still filler. Uh, it doesn't really contribute much to anything. I would say. So I would say skip it. I would say skip like the, the last three episodes that have come out for Boruto because they're just not interesting like three or four episodes like just 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 skip them no one fucking cares so anyways that's the end of the episode that means that's the end of the video if you guys did enjoy be sure to drop a like and if you want to see more consider hitting the subscribe button and I, I don't know what else to say so whatever I hope you guys have a wonderful life. Have a beautiful life. I'll see you guys in the next one. And I'm out.